What is going on guys, The Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive, and today, I didn't notice it at first, but they changed the menu around. Uh, so if, if you guys see, the menu is completely different. Um, honestly, I like this style a whole lot better. So, you know, you can quick travel to different places and, and all that good stuff, you know, and they have a mod option menu now. Um, so um, I'm going to give you guys... I'm gonna let you guys see the mods that I'm running. Uh, I know I've I've never shown you guys exactly what mods I have. Now, be or be mindful that some of these mods isn't good or they don't work. Um, but these are the mods I I use. It's either I use them or I try to use them. So the, here you go. Here's that Chevy sub uh, suburban. Like I say, it doesn't work. Um, so yeah don't don't even try it. it the suburbans don't work um and then you know the cummins uh we got custom injectors that's how i get more horsepower out of the cummins um what else and some more other stuff but i'm just gonna quickly sc scroll through this and let you guys see it i got a lot <laughs> it's a lot here man yeah 100 and how much as 105 105 mods is what i have so keep that into <laughs> keep that in mind some people be asking what is the name of this map this map is called us uh us roads i believe is what it's called is us roads um but anywho anyway we got our ferrari 458 and we're just gonna drive around and we're gonna get into it but i wanted to just hop into the game and, uh... Alright, just mess around for a bit. Hold on. Let off the brakes there, son! So, I haven't really made a video with this Ferrari, so that's why I was like, you know what? Let me... Jesus! <laughs> uh, oh yeah, another thing that people be asking me is, um... Where do I get my mods from? Now, there's a couple of sites around. Some of them are like copy and paste. Um, uh, I use, uh, what is it called? I use uh, a website called modland.net. And you can just hit like slash BeamNG Drive. I don't know if that's actually the link. This Ferrari, something's wrong with it. I'm going to try to see if I can reset, but I don't know how to freaking reset. But that's the website that I use for my mods. I'm going to have it to hit every single button until I figure out which one is the reset, except R, because that's not reset. Uh, I don't freaking know how you reset. Yeah, crap, hit R. That, that don't even work now, huh? Now, there is another one called World of Mods. Uh, I think that one's the, like, the OG. And I believe that Modland is a copy and paste. Well, it's not a copy and paste, but the people that post on there usually just steal mods. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't study it. I don't. I just use it. But it's a site that I use for a majority of my mods. That is like, uh, like for like for an example, this Ferrari, the uh, the Challenger, the Durango. You know, basically the trailer. All oh, you guys. All that's are uh, this map. All this came from that site. Um, so far, it's been clean. I haven't had a virus yet, so it's pretty good for me. It seems legit. So, but use at your own risk. That's all I'm gonna say. Key layout of the game is different. Drift in a Ferrari 458. Look at this side. Heck yeah. I still have traction control on. Let me try to turn it off. Not to, yeah, famous last words. Right, that's off. <laughs> I didn't even have traction control off for a second. I gotta figure out how to reset the cars because the 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 controls are different. Or left over. That's weird. All right, let's try it. That there you go. Okay, it's the same stupid button. I don't know my camera. I don't know how to change the camera. Oh, we can just hit C. Anyway, here we go. Here's the interior of the 458. Really nice. It's a uh, very, very, very highly detailed. I like freaking lag. I like how it looks. It looks very realistic. 
I'm still using the controller. I am not setting up my Logitech. All right, let's give her some beans. Give her the beans. I don't know how fast we're going. I can't see or read this pedometer. 182 miles an hour. Oh, my Lord. We're flying in a bin. Not a bin. Jesus. <laughs> well, there you go. That's, that's, that's death. That's what that looks like. All right, so I want to show you guys something. Now, it's not over here, but I had went and bought something, and I was like, you know, this probably would be pretty interesting to bring to the channel. Um, I don't know if anyone's done this before, but... All right, so let me get out. Now, we got to go and pick it up. Um, I had bought it, and we got to go and pick it up now. Uh, this is the new tow truck. I wanted to show you guys what I decided to get. So this is my new rig. Um, it's a little miniature one. I had the big, the big one, but we don't really need it at the like right now. We don't need it. We so I, I kind of opted for something a little bit smaller. Uh, so this truck is now our official. Um, until we get our tow rig back, in case you guys are wondering. I have a, like, the big orange truck. It's still out. It's getting, um, some, it's still being shipped back from Laquasis or Lacusis or whatever the place is named because I haven't done a, this type of build before. I know we do a lot of, like, drag cars and, like, lifted trucks and stuff like that, but we haven't done turn. Jesus Christ. But we haven't done anything like this before. I gotta see. I gotta probably look at the map. Which I am so happy that they actually have a map now. So this is nice. So all you gotta do. Well you could do it in an easier way than this. So I think it's over here. Road 1 I believe. Which is. see, What is this? Oh, I might as well. Just go ahead and tell you guys. That's where we picked up the 67 Camaro. Um, which I still have it. I still have it. Don't worry. I'm not getting rid of it. Alright, I gotta look at the map again. I gotta see where the heck we're going. Um, we're, we still went the wrong way. <laughs> Make a left, man. Make a left, TGR. What are you doing? Alright, so. What we're getting is we're getting a van. And I know what you're thinking. Why is you getting a van? We're getting a van, and if you guys cannot puzzle or piece it together, I'm going to tell you, we're going to be doing van life. That is right. We're doing van life, and but first, this van isn't ready for any of, them, any, any of it, so we got to build it first, um, which is what's going to be the fun part about it is we get to build this van and make it our own, and does this role continue? Yeah, it does. Right now we are at the we at the Daytona 500 Forest Edition. That's where we're at right now. Uh, but we we we, we got to I think we got to go left. Jesus Christ! This this how is this a road? How is this a road? It's not even a road. It's just a bowl. We got to get out the bowl. Crap! Swing it! Swing that thing! All right, let's see. I gotta look at the map again. All right, follow this road. Follow this road. All right, come on, let's go. All right, we're on, okay, hold on. Cool down, big girl, cool her down. It's starting, it wants to overheat on me. Come on, cool off before, oh, you know what, we're probably gonna have to hit the water to cool her off because this, she's hot, <laughs> this thing is hot. So, should we go and do a quick dip real quick? I'll say so, let's do a quick dip. He's running hot on us. Cool dip will do the trick. Hit a little bit of water. Cool off that engine. Don't get in it, though. Don't get in it. Don't get in it. Just... All right, hold on. I'm trying to cool my truck off. All right, we're going the right way. Um, it's over to the left of us, so... We should freaking see this place. It's not right, it's left. E-brake. I 
I told you we're going to make a quick shortcut. And we already see it right there. Don't mind the red. <laughs> Don't mind the, uh, the texture loss on those things there. But that's the van right here. Heck yeah. We got ourselves a shortcut straight to it. All right. Just going to bag this thing up real quick. Perfect. Perfect. Put that parking brake on. Hop out. Anyway, here's the van. Like I say, it's it needs work. But for what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building up this old project that they didn't finish. And it's perfect because we don't, we don't have to tear down a perfectly good van. We can just build off of this piece of junk, really. That I, I think what they tried to do, and I believe this van was either being built or was built to do demolition racing. Um, obviously, they didn't finish it. So, I picked it up, and I got me a good old deal on it. Egg man. All right. So, anyway, we can actually control the bed from back here. So, that's pretty cool. And then just tilt that thing back. Grab ourselves a van. That's too freaking... Can we... Wait a minute. No. Wait, where are you going? I mean, that will work. You know what? That actually might work. I think it runs, actually, here. Hold on. It does. It runs. Okay. Never mind. It's... Scratch everything I just said. It, it runs. <laughs> you know, I didn't think it was running, but... Hey, look at that. The van actually runs. Heck yeah, that's cool. All right, we got to try to get rid of this chain now. So it's. I just didn't want to drive it because it might get wrapped around that. No, nah, never mind. It worked. Hope you fit like a glove. Heck yeah. Perfect. Park and break it. And we can get out of that. Cool. All right. And then we could actually use the controls from down here. So let's hit this little button right here. Tilt. There it is. Middle mouse button. That's what it was. All right. We've got to load this thing up real quick. I think i got to hit the other button, too. All right. We got that. And then we're going to hit this little button right here. And you... Oh, i got to sit here and hold it. But, yeah. you got to do it... Um, to operate the tow truck, you have to do it from the outside of the truck. You cannot do it from the inside of the truck. Grab this. It's at 30%. Turn it to 15%. We don't want to tear it up. We just want to, like, hold it down onto the truck. So you just put... Don't roll it backwards. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? All right, lock that down. And then we grab this right here. And then we just lock that down. I mean... I mean, I know it's not going anywhere, so... Heck yeah. Alright, we're going. And here we go. We got our van loaded up. And it's already... I can tell you that it's overweight. <laughs> it's not lice. Lice? It's not lice. I feel the truck's kind of oversteering. I can't turn. Oh, wait! <laughs> the parking brake's on, buddy! I had the parking brake. That's why. That's why it wasn't turning. That's why I couldn't drive it. All right, we're good now. Look at that drifting. Ever seen a tow truck drift? I doubt it, unless you're talking about Mater. Yes, sir. There goes the head gasket. Well, we already done blew a head gasket on the truck. We're not going to be able to make it back to the shop. And honestly, I would not be surprised if we're going to break down because... Things ain't looking good for us right now. Ah, oh, great. That's nice. That is nice. But anyway, this van is going to be pretty cool to build. I cannot wait. I literally cannot wait to build it. Uh, but first, we got to try to make it back in one piece and not to try to kill ourselves here because that will be death right down there. Um, and this truck wants to slide right. <laughs> I can tell you right now. And we are oil is okay. We're not going to make it. All right. Well, there goes the rod bearings. Crap. Full throttle it then. 
try to get some speed out of the truck before it literally locks the engine up. Yep, me and the engines don't get along. If Casey guys haven't noticed it on this series, um, every time there goes the piston ring bearings, or the piston rings are damaged, and the engine is locked up. So that's nice. Our tow truck broke down. Tow truck broke down while towing. We're stranded on the side of the road with our van, van life. Let's see if we can get someone out here to, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can find something to kind of tow this. I don't know if I'm going to have it because I don't know. We might have to just get a low boy. All right. So this is the only thing that I could like find <laughs> is this big tow truck. Now, look at the size comparison of this truck. <laughs> In case this is a military truck. Jesus. But this is a military truck. So, this big military truck, and then, here goes my truck. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Looks like a baby compared to it. Anyway, let's see if we can get this thing. Oh, man. Hold on, actually. We're going to have to get in position here because the truck don't run. And it's kind of positioned at the, like the worst angle ever. Can I air down? Is it control G? I'm going to air down the rear, and then we're going to lower this now we can load it now now in case you wonder how do I load this stuff now since we do not have an active winch so what I usually do is I do this you get inside the truck and make sure you got your camera angled kind of right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this it's at 10% right now. We're going to probably need about 20% just to get it up on the truck. And then you're going to look back here to the tow truck. And what you do is you're going to attach it. I'm probably going to have to just attach it to the bumper. Hopefully the bumper's strong enough. No, you're going the wrong way, buddy. What you're doing? Oh, my God. You're such an idiot. I swear to God, you're an idiot. We might can just slide it up on here, actually, just by reversing. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Right, we're probably going to have to pick it up from the, this front. We need a lot more strength, though, to be able to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the front. What you doing, man? Right here. What you freaking doing? All right. And then we're just going to bag it up on her here. Like that. And then all you got to do is just drop it right on the truck. See? Oh, you bastard. Let's get out. Let's make sure the parking brake is on this truck. Because the parking brake is not on. Put the parking brake on. Get back in this truck. And then we're going to drop it onto the truck. Simple. Stop rolling, you idiot. 20 minutes later. It's going to be sketch. It's definitely going to be sketchy driving this, but it's on here, but it's very, it's a lot of weight on that back. The back end has the most weight, so we got to be very, very careful. And then I think it's control. No, that's not it. That's the bug. Oh, God. Let's lock this truck because it's not locked at all and we can lose it. Can I slide this? There you go. That's what I wanted it to do. And then we just, we could probably just lock it somewhere along the lines of like, uh, let's see. It said turn this down to maybe like 30 something. And we could probably lock that there. Get this rear, get it locked about. I don't know what's a good spot probably here so that way it doesn't move and then the front we can get it locked somewhat random here and now she shouldn't move oh yeah it's not moving nowhere that van is already locked so I'm not worrying about that neither all right we're going this truck looks so silly oh wait I didn't lift the, the rear end up I don't know how to lift the rear up I think it's just G I think that did it. I don't know if I did it, but I think I did it. Okay, we're going, boys. We're going. 
I ain't worrying about this truck breaking down. Let me tell you, this is a military truck. This truck ain't breaking down here. Nuh-uh, nope. The only way that this truck will break down is you're gonna have to be ambushed by like some, <laughs> like some freaking fighters or bombs or something. And even then, this thing is gonna continue trucking. All right? And don't you dare make a roadblock because we're gonna plow straight through that thing, so. We're gonna plow straight through that thing, son. Look at this interior, man. It's been updated and everything. Nice. I think I'm going the wrong way, but honestly, I just want to drive this thing. This thing is a monster house. Legit. Listen to those tires whine. Wah. My Lord of Jesus, hold on to it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. This truck ain't breaking down here. Nuh uh. Okay, well, that did it. <laughs> I mean, you know what I said about this truck? I ain't worrying about this truck breaking down because we're gonna plow straight through that thing. So yeah, we just stopped this truck <laughs> when we stopped it dead in its tracks and we twisted the heck out of the truck. Um, uh, I mean the van's okay. <laughs> That's all that matters, man. This is what we came here for: is the van. <laughs> the van is mint, man. It is freaking mint. I love it. Our tow truck, mm hey. -hmm. It's twisted the frame. I don't know if you guys can see it. But you guys see right here. Right up under here. You see that frame? It's twisted. It twisted the frame completely right. Um, just due to the, 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 the pure weight. You could still build this van because look at this. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, my guy. Look at this. Our van is still running. The power of van life here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yeah. But heck yeah. Yep, that's I done broke that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos. And comment down below, is you guys excited for this van build to get and hop into van life? Because this map is pretty cool. It has a lot of trails and options and we can do uh, some camping. And I think it actually has the trailer hitch back here. If not, we're going to install a trailer hitch. I'm going to get myself a little bitty camper to pull with this van. So we're going to have this camper um, with this, to tow with this van. And we can tow around, hit these little mountains, passes, and stuff up here. And we'll drop the trailer. We can go off road and all that stuff, man. It's going to be really cool. But first, we got to get this thing reliable.